Okay. Uh, last week we did uh, we discussed about URR seven two five as well as uh, UCP six hundred Article thirteen on bank to bank reimbursement. Right. Okay. Uh, today, what I'm trying to do is to discuss with you regarding the various risks associated with international trade operations as well as documentary credit. Because the majority of the risk are related to documentary credit, uh, but generally we will discuss about the risk associated with international trade operations. Right? Okay. When we uh, when we talk about international trade operations, right? We all know international trade operations are short term. About 99% of our operations are short term. Why we say short term? Why we say short term? Hello. You are there? Yes, sir. Right. Why we are saying short term? What is the, when we talk about short term, medium term, and long term? Normally, short term comes less than how many years? <laughs> huh? One year. Less than one year, two years, even two years, we can say short term. 99.9% .9 of our transactions, international trade operations, are less than six months. Very rarely, it goes beyond that limit. Right, so our international trade operations worldwide, it's a short term exposure we are having. Then self liquidating, self liquidating goods. Once we get the goods, sometimes if it is a use and sell, see, we can sell the goods and then we can settle the money. Right. Then secured by the underlying goods. Always the goods are, uh, it is secured by the underlying goods, the transaction, the trade operation is secured because there are underlying goods. Even, even in uh, uh, DC transactions, the goods are consigned to the bank. How? Goods are consigned to the bank. How? Uh, BL consigned to the yeah. bank. Yeah. BL is consigned to the bank. So even if my customer doesn't pay me, right, I can get the goods cleared and sell it outside and recover my money. Sometimes maybe much more than my outstanding or maybe uh, Little less than outstanding, but not the total loss. Then speedily completed. Maximum three to four weeks when you are getting the documents and the settlement is maximum between three to four weeks. So that's why in a, when we talk about the industrial trade operations, we talk about this four S's. Four S's in international trade. Oh, yes, yes. Right? One is short term, other one is self liquidating, the third S is secured, and fourth S is speedily completed. Right? So because of that, we know the majority of our trade finance risk are short term. 
So we'll we'll be looking at this risk under that uh, category, saying, thinking that okay, majority are short term, and how we are going to mitigate those risks. Is it risky trade finance operations? Is it a risky job or yes or no? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Because the buyer and the seller doesn't know well about uh, between themselves, they don't know uh, much idea, they don't have any good idea. So, uh, and we are also getting involved as a third party, right? So, uh, there is a risk, always there's a risk. And as a bank, we are trying to mitigate the risk as much as possible. When you talk about the trade risk, yes, you can. Eliminate the, you cannot eliminate the risk. If somebody wants to do the transaction without taking any risk, without taking any risk, completely eliminate the risk, then you can't do it. But you can mitigate the risk. You can mitigate the risk. Um, I can remember a nice story. Uh, this happened when I was. And Standard Chartered, right? One of our good customers, he came to me, and uh, we all respect him because that guy, as a financial control of like blue chip company, right? Very uh, high net worth customer. Uh, he knows forex transactions. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, forward bookings and everything better than us. He knows trade finance better than us. Right? So we always treat him well. But don't you know? I mean, there are some people, they always want to show that they know everything and. Uh, and to bully the other person and then uh, asking unnecessary questions from us and all those things. So one day he came to uh, came to me and he asked me, um, Shadir, I want to do uh, import exports. Because he was not for import exports in a big way, uh, but he, small smaller way but other facilities are massive it, it was telling me that i want to do international trade operations i said yes i will help you the necessity is i know that you will help me but i want to do without taking a risk without taking any risk can i do it and i said Yes. Immediately, point blank, I said, yes, you can. Then he pulled a chair in front of me, sat down, and he told me, I have gone to two, three banks. I have asked him the same question. They said, no. You are the only person who said, yes. How? And my answer was, don't do international trade. If you can't take any risk, then you should not do international trade. Because international trade is 100% risk. 100% risk. You should be ready to take the risk and you should be ready to mitigate the risk. Right? Other than that, you can eliminate the risk in international trade operations. Some other operations, yes, you can eliminate, but not in trade. 
two unknown parties, goods are coming from one country to the other, anything can happen, right? Uh, piracy can take place. Hmm. Maybe the ship may be sunk, goods will be damaged, somebody will come and loot the goods, looting, anything can happen. Okay. So, it is a high risk element. Okay. Then before we go forward, can, can you go through this definition of documentary credit? Can I go through this definition of a documentary credit? A documentary credit is to pay a certain amount immediately or at a future date. Is it correct? Is it correct? Yes. yes. Then comes provided that the stipulated documents are presented and an undertaking from the importer's bank to the exporter and only if the documents are in strict conformity with the LC. If the documents are uh, strictly conformity with the LC, then we will pay. Otherwise, we will not pay. Right? That's the definition of the LC. Then again, when you talk about the ICC publication 600, Article 4, it says, credits by their nature are separate transaction from sales or other contracts. What do you mean by that? Here the credits means, what credit? Here the credit means what credit? Documentary. Yes, this is documentary credit. LC. Yes. Right? Not the facility. Right? Not the credit facility. Right? The credits by their nature are separate transactions from sales or other contracts. When you get the sales contract or any other contract, they are talking about something else. But here, we have nothing to do with those sales contracts. It's a, an individual transaction. Then Article 5. In credit operations, all parties concerned deal with documents and not with goods, services and or other performances to which the documents may relate. Right? In credit operations, all parties concerned deal with documents. We are only dealing with documents. We have nothing to do with the goods, right? Or services or any other performance. It's immaterial. We are only dealing with the documents, right? That is number five. In 14A, what 14A says, a nominated bank acting on its nomination, a confirming bank, if any, and the issuing bank must examine the presentation to determine on the basis of the documents alone, whether or not the documents appear on their face to constitute a compliant presentation. That's another very important thing. Put in A. It says a nominated bank, put in A. Right? A nominated bank acting on its nomination, a confirming bank, if any, and the issuing bank must examine the presentation to determine on the basis of the documents alone. We are only checking the documents. We are not thinking about the performance ability of the customer or what they are going to do and whether they are good salesmen 
and all the material. What we are trying to check is only the documents are in compliance with the terms and conditions of the LC. Right? Whether or not the documents appear on their face to consider them like presentation. Right? Now we'll see what are the consideration of risk involved in international trade operations. Consideration of risk involved in international trade operation. Uh, today I might finish the class a uh, little bit early. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I have another appointment in the evening uh, with the doctor. So I'll, I'll try to finish it. Feeling which we will continue. Right? Uh, right. Consideration of risk involving international trade operations. Before deciding whether to enter into a foreign market, either, the, either as a buyer or a seller, the business must first consider the risk which it will be exposing itself. When you are first enter into the export market or import market, it be, the transaction will be between the buyer and the seller. Right? We have to see uh, the both buyer and the seller are getting themselves exposed to various risks. So it's our duty to mitigate the risk and advise the customer, right? One of the risks we can talk is language and culture. Language and culture. What do you mean by language and culture? What do you mean by language and culture? What is the most common language in LCS? Hmm? As a standard language for LCS? English. English, yes. English is the standard language for LCS. But does all the banks in the world, they use English? Yes or no? Tell me. No. No. Then, what are the other languages we can open as this? In Sri Lanka? In Sri Lanka, what are the languages? Can we open LCs in uh, Singhala? No. 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 We are not But certain countries they issue domestic LCs in their own language. For example, China. China, they do. We are China, they uh, we are knowledge about English is not like us, right? Ours is a thousand times better. So uh, even though it is not universal, the majority and the common is the English, right? And on top of that, we have cultural differences. And 
sensitivities. Right? What do you mean by cultural differences? What do you mean by cultural differences? And sensitivities. Come on, students, I want your participation. Otherwise, it's going to be a boring session, a boring exercise. I need your participation. So, the uh, character wrong. You all, you all can talk in English very well, I know. Good people. Good background. So please talk. Between two countries, huh? between two countries, the each uh, cu the cultures differ. Like Sri Lanka and India, the way we see things. Uh -huh. Can you explain more? Yeah, correct. Uh, because when you take the word cultural differences is obvious. Between two countries, there are cultural differences. Right? I need the examples and sensitivities. Tell me. Hari, India wa India example Could we take something like now Sri Lanka, our normal banking days, uh, say Monday to Friday, our whole mm. weekend is Saturday, Sunday. Mm. Whereas in uh, Arabic countries, their weekends are Thursday, Friday, something like that? Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, something like that. Why, why, why they are, why they are, uh, all days are uh, Thursday, Friday, or Friday, Saturday. Friday is the prayer uh, day. They give Friday, Friday day is the prayer day. Yeah, right. So they, in their culture, it is different, and their 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 banks are open on Monday. Uh, sorry, Sunday and uh, Saturday and Sunday, they are open. That because of their culture. And there are some other things also, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't want to mention the name of the uh, specific meat. There are some meat products, it is haram for them. Haram is, they, they are not agreeable, right? They are not agreeable. They, they don't want, they, they don't touch, they don't see, simply. But if you are dealing with a country like Saudi, then you should know about their cultural differences. Right? And their sensitivity for certain goods. Without knowing, if you want to export any damn thing from Sri Lanka, then you are going to have issues. Right? Okay. Then, Legal issues. Legal issues. What do you mean by legal issues? Different legal systems in countries. Ours is English law or Roman Dutch law. Saudi? What's the law? Sharia law. Sharia law. They have Sharia law. Right? So, different legal systems. Then, uncertainty of legal procedures or changes in legislation. For example, exchange control regulations. Right? Even, even we can, even in Sri Lanka, we have relaxed it very much. Right? Then buyers and sellers, exchange rate, 
Haram Haram series. Right? I don't want to explain all these things. Bargaining power. What do you mean by bargaining power? What do you mean by bargaining power? Asking for a discount. Asking for a discount. And the bargaining means that. So what do you mean by bargaining power? When some countries, they are very aggressive when it comes to fixing of prices and all. Very aggressive. Typically, Sri Lanka is not timid. We don't want to go fighting with the people, right? Argolokino one get up in grieving the happy in the blood. Even a man, you should be able to bargain it, right? Then the customs and practices, financial risk, financial risk. The buyers wants to defer the payment as much as possible, whereas the buyer, a seller, wants to have advance payment as much as possible, right? So, when you see these things, you will see always there are consideration for various risks, right? So number five is credit risk, risk under different payment methods. If it is under LC, what's the payment method? And then if it is under advance payment, what are the risks? What are the risks under advance payment? And if it is under uh, correction, what are the risks? Right? Then role of bank guarantees to mitigate bias against this risk. Right? We did the bank guarantees last week, isn't it? Are we clear, eh? Yes, sir. Oh, sir. Okay, eh? Are we clear? What about that? How we can mitigate the risk by introducing bank guarantees. Then transport risk. Transport risk. The length of time the goods need to travel to get to their final destination. That's a risk. Then risk of goods being damaged or being tampered with uh, while in transit. Right? Appropriate insurance to mitigate the risk. That's, that's how to mitigate the risk, but those two are the risk. Right? Um, I can add one more thing. I don't know whether I have added that also. I can't see that. Yeah, another risk is documentation risk. Number seven. Number seven. We have print out the third again. Documentation risk. That means failure in fulfilling documents requirement. Failure in fulfilling document <coughs> documentation requirement. <coughs> What do you mean by that? <coughs> As per the uh, commercial contract, as per the commercial contract, there are certain documents which they have requested the uh, seller to submit <coughs> along with the goods. But if they have not submitted properly, then there is a risk of not getting the funds from the buyer. 
right? On the other hand, Bhai is also not comfortable because he doesn't know whether he has received the same quality goods which he wanted to have, right? So number seven is documentation risk. And again, we'll go through some common risk in trade operations. Right? We are reiterating certain things. Some, some are duplicated, but we'll have to think about these things. Sovereign and regulatory risk. What do you mean by sovereign risk? But sovereign risk can What are those? What is sovereign risk? What is sovereign? Government. Government. This country. Government. Right? So there are certain risks. Sudden impose of foreign payment restrictions. Is it true? Sudden impose of foreign payment restrictions. Is it true? Yes. Yes. In Sri Lanka? Yes. 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 Even now we have the, those. Uh... <laughs> Very good. Even now we are having this. Neither. We can't send payments uh, on site basis. We can't import things. We can't do payments. It has to be. 90 days DA, October, we are also having this, right? Then restrictive government policies, exchange control, tariff and quota restrictions, Okoma be Gautino. right? Uh, and uh, sovereign risk. Import export prohibitions, yes, it is there. Right? Trade dump embargoes, anti dumping legislation. What do you mean by anti dumping legislation? Oh, what do you mean by anti dumping legislation? Yeah, they can't. Am I? Am I down there? English is unknown. At that You can't import certain material as uh, you can't import certain material as and you want. So you have to get it through the import control uh, department's approval as such. Oh, yeah. In that case, I can argue with you, even. To import a uh, what do you call a vehicle, even to import a vehicle, you have to get the import control approval. So is it a anti-dumping importing a vehicle? Is it dumping? No. Anti-dumping can be certain then what do you think? Maybe then over half ton no when you are going to uh, towards Kurnagal area, go over there, building on a van, carry the name to the Patola. From Alambo to Kurnagal, Anagote, especially your right hand side again, uh, the boy again, Harry Nama, the good timber, you know, spare parts cut. Chessies are all my world over containers in me. Containers in me. Those are some of the garbage which the other countries want to dump. 
without dumping, it comes to Sri Lanka, and we are keeping it. Right? So, uh, uh, some of those things has to be restricted. Right? So, that when, before we open LC, we'll have to see whether there's any anti dumping legislation preventing importing of that particular uh, item. Okay? Then, inadequate foreign exchange reserves. Inadequate foreign exchange reserves. Scarcity of convertible currencies. Uh, we are also having this issue up to our neck. But some countries in the world, uh, especially the African countries, they are beyond their neck also. Right? Give it the end of first name. Right. Uh, what are the other 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 reasons for the exchange risk in this law? Someone in the Sula Samarati in Africa, Katar and Mr. Cheva. Political risk. Then the political risk is not. You know, I mean, also, another you know, they are talking about different, different camps are talking about different, different things, right? Then, uh, economic stability of a country, we don't have economic stability, right? Then, exchange control regulations. What do you mean by going through these uh, uh, conditions, restrictions? Hmm? Why? Because when you are having all these things, political issues, economic issues, exchange control, instability, and all those things, you get a feeling whether that guy can honor my payment or whether they can do the payment, isn't it? Right? You have that doubt created. Uh, and and uh, some countries, on, on top of that, some countries are uh, like Sri Lanka. Some first class countries like uh, UK, uh, most of the European countries, German, Japan, uh, Aussie, and those European countries, they think they are number one countries in the world. Right? We are third world. We are third world. So, what they think is, okay, uh, whether there's a risk when you trade with Sri Lanka, whether there's a risk when you trade with Sri Lanka, is there any risk, non-payment, is there a risk? Yes, yes. Is there a risk? Yes. 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 Non-payment? Okay. That's news to me. Right? Because we think because of all these restrictions and all, there's a risk. But can you tell me one in incident where we had this risk? Payment 
rules and regulations. Api sally na hai kila ka bilakot jola tina na. Default kala tina na. Not like Salina Sunni. No, no, no. Then up then up then we are facing that issue name. Then we we see the him open karpua. All of a sudden uh may government taken the may regulations gain a quota. May up it then give us an baroni in up it then customers let the issues. Oh don't 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 know. Up it give us a baroin in me. ियर අපේ අපේ රට සල්ලි නැති හින්දම අපි ගෙවන්න නැතුව ඉඳලා තියනවද මොන මට නැ එකක්වත් පොළුවට එන්නේ නැහැ එහෙම වෙලා නැහැ එහෙම වෙලා නැහැ නෝ නොට් ලයික් දැන් අන්න එහෙම වෙලා නැහැ ඉතින් එහෙම වෙලා නැත්තම් මගේ ආගමන්ට් එක ඒකයි අපි ටිකක් යනවා පොඩ්ඩක් එහාට නමුත් මේ මේ ආගමන්ට්ස් මරු එහෙම වෙලා නැත්තම් ඇයි අපිට මේ විදිහට ට්‍රීට් කරන්නේ වර්ල්ඩ් එකේ නේද දැන් අපිට අපිට සලකන්නේ දැන් බන්න majority of our lcs uh, when we advise they are asking us to be uh, uh, lc card note කියන අය confirmation add කරන්නේ කියලා ඇයි because they think that there is a short term risk in sri lanka there is a short term risk in sri lanka true but ඒක කියලා एक ही इंदर ने पौड़ी ये वाटर देंगे आप इधर वो टेन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड एलसीस वाटर समझ रहे हो कि ना एक कंट्रीज के ना या एलसीस हैस टू बी में कंफर्मेशन टू बी एडेड राइट इन गुड़ा करा डा बेनिफिशियरी इज़ नॉट एग्रीबल टू पे द चार्जेस दिस पूर इंपोर्टर हैस टू पे दैट चार्ज � Taman, third world countries. But am I having said that the common risk of sovereign and regulatory risk it is there. The country risk is there because of that. Right? Am I happy? Wa? Ita vada third world countries. That ita happy? Wa? Vada bully karega na? You know. Right. Then, tau ka tau ano? The another one mada politics related. Then. Foreign exchange risk. Trade is always at the mercy of the exchange rate fluctuations due to various political, economic, and even purely speculative reasons. You agree on that? You agree on that, right? Because we have seen in the past, recent past, how the foreign exchange rates have fluctuated. It went near two hundred dollars, right? Under ninety-five, that's why I am here. It is very easy. When that name, Mama, the medium in normal, that's why I am here. Under ninety-five, that's why I am here. Right now, now what is the present value? One eighty-nine, one ninety. Huh? One eighty-nine to one ninety. One eighty-nine to ninety. Is it? Then, well, I have seen very recently about two days back. I saw hundred and eighty-four and eighty-five. I'm talking about the selling rate. You are talking about the selling rate. Yeah. Here, here they said hundred and eighty-four selling rate. Uh, sorry, uh, hundred and eighty-four buying rate, selling rate, hundred and eighty-six or something. When the pull down, ne? That could be the central bank rate, ne? So it's about a bank's rate, like margin, like a tier, ne? Ape, ape ma questioning karla ne? That is without our question, ne? We always keep a question, na? No? Yeah. Ape, yes, ape, ape, ape question ne? Ape tier, like a tier, ne? Ma idan ne? 
Komari, it went up to 196.95 selling rate and it, it has now come down. So it is always depending on the exchange rates. Then the local currency can wipe out the entire profit because of the exchange or the exchange risk. Also interest rate risk due to floating rate loans, right? Right. Then bank risk. Bank risk. Um, what do you mean by bank risk? Some banks are financially instable. Instability is there for some banks, right? And poor credit worthiness. Poor credit worthiness. A uh, few years back, uh, we were in the sense now it is more than 20, 20, 25 years, 25 years, 26 years back. I can still remember uh, BCCI Bank, Bank of Trade and Commerce, how they got busted. Right? Even uh, Sri Lankan operations, Lakidi, Ceylon Bank took over the operations, if I'm correct. It was Ceylon, not HNB, it was Ceylon. They took over the operations and safeguarded our customers. Otherwise, all our customers, I mean, would have faced um, big issues. BCCI, Bank of Credit and Commerce International, one of the Pakistani banks. Overnight, it got busted. Right? Then, poor check-in standard. Poor check-in standard. Checking of what? What do you mean by checking standard? We are talking about international trade now. Checking of documents. What? Checking of documents Docu against the LC. Right? Because of the poor checking standard, they some banks are having a habit of rejecting the documents, quoting various discrepancies. Right? That's also another issue. This happened a few years back with Chinese banks. We had this issue, but now they are a thousand times better, right? Because they used to quote various discrepancies and refuse the payment. Delay in making payments to correspondents another thing they they, <coughs> they debit the customer and collect the money but they don't remit the money to the other party they keep it for one or two days roll it and then do the payment so if you found that type of banks what are you going to do You will come across. You will come across. But hereafter, now we have to do a small thing. What is it? You don't have the powers to do it, but you have the powers to recommend it. What can we do? You are not thinking out of the box. The Uttreman Dila Ahane is poor check, poor checking standard and quoting discrepancies. Digging the Gitta Venona Mogadakara Nabi. We are going to blacklist that particular bank. We are going to blacklist that particular bank. And then we have to send a uh, circular to all the departments and all. I mean, we are not branches and all. We are not going to handle uh, uh, trade finance operations with this particular bank. You have to backlist. Right? 
we can recommend to your bosses and then they will go through it and then they will blacklist those banks internally okay internally otherwise they won't announce it because uh, since i have worked for about more than 10 years in middle east uh, with hsbc i can still remember i have come across so many sri lankan banks at that time sri lankan banks they said no no don't deal with xyz bank don't deal with mno bank don't deal with abc bank they are restricted right so all these standards they double check then being domiciled in a country notorious for forex restrictions and classified as high risk right okay especially some african countries then legal risk legal risk dispute settlement legal policies injunctions that's another uh, case right injunctions you can take injunctions but it is not easy like those days those days we could have taken the injunctions without any problem but now they are not releasing the order easily they checked everything that's very good that's very good right otherwise most of the innocent customers got affected due to this issue right what do you mean by injunction what is injunction a court order order preventing payments preventing payments good fraud risk dealing with a seller who is not known no who can be even more important than no how that's another golden rule i always discuss with my students right know who can be even more important than know how what do you mean by know who because we all know uh, if you are a uh, trade guy in the trade department can you uh, check the documents can you uh, negotiate a document if you don't know the subject if you don't know the subject you have to know about the subject yeah you have to be master on that particular subject right but more important is not that you have to be a master on the thing you should know with whom we are dealing with so who can be even more important than no how is there on the brand uh no who can ga hari main important again thamai apita dana ganna pulam api kaya kene weda karanne angoda lokkat ekkada angoda lokkat ilsi yarana mele sudatte ilsi yarana eda goda api kaya ekkada karanne eka thamai important right then okay thamai api kiyanne
Tahun depan ni? OSCC Yo, macam mana dia? OSCC Loyal customers Customer Loyal customers, custom Right? Payment for non non-existent or worthless goods against presentation of falsified documents by the beneficiary. Right? Payment for non-existent or worthless goods against presentation of falsified documents by the beneficiary. Make a example. Very, very important. Yeah. Another true story. Yeah, we got true story. Yeah. Um, recently, I have gone through certain books, law books, and I was stunned to see a very similar case. Very similar case has happened in 1990. Five, and this particular thing happened to me. That was in 2006. After 10 years or so, uh, in between also there was a, a similar one, right? Uh, the story is. Make uh, a case study of the I'll take the banks. Exact banks, but nothing to do with that particular bank. Huh? Nothing to do with that particular bank, but I am also part and parcel of that particular bank. But without taking the uh, exact names, it's very difficult to understand. Um, when I was uh, when I was the uh, regional head. Right, and I was not involved in much of operations, but I was doing only the uh, overall supervision and any issues and uh, administration part of trade. Right, um, so only the issues will come to me. Only the issues will come to me. Um, there was a LC opened by Issuing Bank. Let's see, issuing bank as a, I can't remember the exact name of the bank. We say Nigerian bank. What are the Nigerian banks? Right? Nigeria is a number one crook country. And then there was a LC, LC value. Site. It was site LC. US dollars. Three million. US dollars three million. Okay. Um, I make a full on that. Look at the screen. Come on. Okay, so LC values, site, US dollars, 3 million, right? Then, um, one of the conditions in the LC was, LC to be confirmed. LC to be confirmed. Just imagine, US dollars, 3 million. Lanka, we have three million common nega. Three million US dollars. LC to be confirmed. So confirming bank confirming bank. 
plus uh, HSBC equator. HSBC equating and uh, South Africa. Right? South Africa. You will confirm that the bank. LC confirm that. But I think Ghana came to me. LC confirmation that you three million dollars and Nigeria, high risk country. We don't want to touch. Then uh, exporter eh? or the seller from Dubai. Um, goods, well, bitumen. What is bitumen? What is bitumen? Tar. Tar. Very good. Right? Exporting country or the uh, shipment from? Shipment from Iran. Iran. Bandarabas, Bandarabas port in Iran. Right? Bandarabas port in Iran. This is that. So the entire thing is very complicated one. Issuing bank, Nigerian bank, LC value site, LC, three million dollars. LC to be confirmed, then confirming bank, HSBC equator from South Africa, uh, then exporter from Dubai, goods, bitumen, shipment from Iran. Right? Now, these guys have submitted the documents. They have, they have submitted the documents to uh, HSBC Dubai for a negotiation. And when they have checked the documents, they couldn't locate a single discrepancy. So that means clean document. Clean document. If it is a clean document, not like here, they are they are demanding the money. So they, they have requested, okay, if the documents are clean, please negotiate and give us the value. So our people wanted to give value. Uh, when the manager has told, okay, if there's no, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, discrepancies, then we have to pay. Because this guy is also pr pressurizing the department rm <coughs> as usual if we are the rms are with the customer so when the customer pressurize in them they pressurize the department uh, saying that okay if there's no discrepancies please give us the money please take the money so they have negotiated and they have created the money to the customer's account in the evening. But the document checker, he was not happy with the BL. He has found a, uh, his gut feeling. This is something I'm always telling. Well, this particular case, I'm not going to discuss it again. Otherwise, uh, sometimes I used to discuss it when we are doing the dog checking, but again, I'm not going to discuss it. I will just refer it, right? So when you are checking documents, or what, whenever you are doing any other work in the department, my dear children, you always will be getting a gut feeling, something called happy, but a gut feeling, getting a single link and I will give you a book. 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 I will
make up something fishy. Right? It's something fishy. Make up a cinema. But then Allah in a may ready. Killer is about hit enough. Abay, but you can't find any faults. Still, you have that feeling, right? We, we used to call it gut feeling. I think a gut feeling like a hammer. I'm telling my all my students, don't discount it. Don't discount it. Can don't discount the gut feeling, right? Uh, don't discount the gut feeling. Sometimes you go to the manager, your supervisor, officer, or manager. You, you say, uh, I'm not feeling uh, very much favorable to this particular one. Then your manager will say, uh, No, if you don't have any discrepancies, just pay, just pay. Right? Because of the amount, 3 million US dollars, site, NC Insurance Bank, unknown country. Right? Well, sorry, not unknown country, risky country. Risky country. Nigeria. The Okoman Tekela are at a QA, Ape, Uda, Mega, Balomagila. So that guy took a photocopy of the BL and he came to me. Uh, he came to me and he he told me, a uh, Sri Lankan guy, right? Uh, Doc Checker. Uh, later, he became. Head of trade in Colombo. So just imagine those days, document checker, clerk, how those people have, uh, how we have trained those people, and he ended up as the head of trade in uh, Colombo, HSBC, and now he's head of trade. I will not say the country, big country, HSBC. Right? So, okay. The one eglo koma dapi eglon ta bapi guanna la then eglon putte putte view ne la ap hai thi arey na kya ne kar? Then me pata hai ilo ko sir I am not very happy with this BL ke la. So I had the facility to check the BLs through uh, IMB. IMB is International Maritime Board. IMB. Um, International Maritime Bureau. We can check the authenticity of the uh, uh, BLs once we refer to IMB. But charges are very high. Normally they take about 50, if I'm correct, it was 50 pounds or something. Right? But uh, really well. So I uh, I didn't know that these people have discounted the bill and negotiated the bill and given the money. Uh, I sent it to London in the evening. The following day, by one o'clock or two two o'clock, I got the reply from London saying that this uh, beer is a forged one. Beer is a forged one. Right? Immediately I told my guy, this is a forge one. Don't release the payment. He said, then only he told me, sir, we have already, we have been asked to release the payment yesterday. So I said, stop it now. $103 million into 3.66 conversion rate. To dirhams, but 12 million, nearly 12 million. 3.66 million medical home, 3 million, about 11 million is wrong. 11 million dirhams. The customer's account, the balance was only 1780 dirhams. All the money has been taken all the money has been taken out right it was in the customer 
ஒரு ரிக்கவர் I left the bank in 2007. A went up to the bank. We couldn't recover the money. Then we started to get the bank. Then we started to get the bank. Then we started to get the bank. The payment for non-existent or worthless goods. Then we started to get the bank. Then we started to get the bank. நைஜீரியா <laughs> அனைத்துக்கும் இன்னொருத்தீங் <laughs> culprits right they are doing it over and over make am ehem mela dina nigerian bank when a hsbc winning bank ka karagana thuna 3 million ganak wage amount ek 2 million da 3 million ekla thuna mata gena me wage ema bitman pandara basali put ekak chip kala dina inda manda kochchara apita issues ena wada kela payment for non existent of worthless goods against presentation of falsified documents by the beneficiary right ege lassana wede une e gari coincident check okay lc was confirmed by hsbc equator that is they are very famous for uh, confirming all the south african continental 
uh, LCs, right? Because Africa is a dark country, uh, a dark continent. Uh, most of the bank, banks are not known to other parts of the world. So they are masked on that. Adding confirmation. They charge a big fee. They are confirming banking and make it at Kalatina Hedu, Lankawe. Export document to check Kalabu, Doc Chekat Lankawe. Customer gave customer gave me the Arim Lankawe, Mat Lankawe. Right? Coincident If you are going to handle these type of things, can you prevent these type of things? Can you prevent this? What are the precautions should I take? Sir, Iran uh, sanctioned country? Ka? Uh. <laughs> then, pay another person, I will screen a maker. Let the let the pay me. Then pain on it. Screening a pain on it. Yes. All right. Okay. Fine. A bit chutta chutta. Maybe again again. Right. Uh, then forge documentary credit. That also can happen. Forge documentary credit. Maybe then our good day is man good day. Again again. Good day. Man experience. Kala. Right? Always in the documentary operations, we say um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, this is subject to UCP 600. Like again, this is subject to UCP 600. Uh, this happened before 2007 and uh, then we were uh, using UCP 500 mail LCA card um, um, aka a paid wage card now LCA card mail LCA card type card as well as you know a people and good actor and a pair and a 500 digger this is not subjected to UCP 500. Not, not Kerala, Michigan. Not below, Magadun, Michigan. Abay, Magagolia, advising Kerbekana, Minia, and Goka. Right? The Matad, okay, Mr. Wadapi, this is the Oscarapi normally. Uh, we take it for granted. It is subject to UCP 500 kila. not subject to. Then insurance fraud. Over insurance. Goods value is ten thousand dollars, but we insure the goods for hundred thousand dollars, and 
we make it a point to damage the goods or the goods will get lost or something happen and you will have a claim because you have o insured right they were kumbala no no charter party frauds how charter party frauds what is charter party what is charter party come on trade guys what is a charter party ship that in at the right like oil oil oil, huh? oil. ఆయిల్ యా నార్మల్ తమై ఆయిల్ షిప్స్ కూడా కేవట చాట పార్టీ తమ ఎన్నే వాట్ ఇస్ మీన్ బై చాట పార్టీ షిప్స్ హైర్డ్ హైర్డ్ వెరీ గుడ్ వి హైర్డ్ ఎంటైర్ షిప్ వి హైర్డ్ ఎంటైర్ షిప్ రైట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ లైక్ దిస్ సిల్వర్ నౌ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ టు గో టు if you want to go to khatra gamma simple example at then if you want to go to khatra gamma uh, you can take the normal ctp or special kalambo uh, khatra gamma bus from peta right and that will go on a standard predetermined route right we have gold road gila gold road digging uh, gol uh, matare tangol hambantota katragama egena e pare digena right egena yanni but if you want to go to that, that's a normal ship like right always the normal ships when it, when it's sailing from uh, liverpool harbor from london when it comes to colombo they have the route standard route but if you hire a van to go to katragama then what is it, then what is going to happen then what is going to happen nagga gaare kata me van ekata nagga either with the driver or without driver ehema thiyena ani den ta kaya ekak aragena den gonna api nagila elokata ikkene ikkene dan kena avara gena i will take the highway very easy three and a half hours four hours we can go to katragama and put la mai kina na 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 ane he kile vetak ne udo wale web pariyan opita alid bala gine inne now majority decision we go via udo wale web udo wale web gile ana kota da udo wale web pau karala alid bala la den ape vehicle leka ape tone gamana kena you will you will reach tanamalli junction the gear katti danno ne pare ne de etana t t joint ekak thiyenne t eken right eda harna ma katra gama left eda harna alla alla vaaye bandara la tanamalli eda enakota kiyena ayyo hema dama katra gama ne ekena gile wede kudne deyya balanne de kila api anko bandara la anko podi rest ekata thekke ఎలా మండారు కాగిన్ ప్రశ్న అన్నీ ఇట్స్ అ హైర్ డ్రాన్ రైట్ ఓ వగేమ తమై ఓ చాట పార్టీకి మట ఒకటి ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేద్దాం లేసి మిది తమై ఇది వస్తే ఓ అనుకోట మొండరాగల హరియది హరి వెల్లవాయ హరి అనుకోట పర్సంగ ఎన్నో వెహికల్ అద్దికిన దిగట అవిల్ల ఓటే ఎక్కల పాలు హరికిది హరహట గాల అపి ఒక్కోం బస్సులు అపి బడుత్ బిమిట దాల అభిత్ కంట ఎక్క గహన వేన్ని కరంగ సీసెస్ లా రైట్ అయితే కర వేన్నికే ఫినాన్స్ గేవలనే ఫినాన్స్ కంపెనీ గేల సీస్ కల వేన్నికే దెన్ అప్పి దెన్ బడు తెక్క స్ట్రాండ్ లా ఇన్న వెళ్ళబాయ పాలు పాలు తనకి రైట్ జస్ట్ టిపికల్ చాట పాటు చాటపాటీకే తీన లుక్ రిస్క్ ఏదమై చాటపాటి బిఎల్స్ అపే నెగోషియేట్ కర్ణ కూడా ఓ ఇలాకత్ 
value then they pump. But we can't show an egg. If I eat in a degila, a kahavima important. And again, I have a lot of experience in handling charter party BLs. There are instances where the ships have been sold in the mid sea. Mid sea, Lanka, one of the leading sugar importers. It was a he was a member of Royal Sugar Association, uh, RSA. Tibu dekha main kena CWA ka RSA tibu ne. Ekale CWA ka RSA ne. Ekale RSA tibu na main main sugar importer ke ne. Mama main customer mama hai lekile account ke. Chaata party gain ne sugar gain ne kam bulk ka ko ko main chaata party. We we got down this. Shipment from Brazil, Avila, Lanka, and other water, Magadi, ship pick up a good luck. At the Panama flag, a galola, ship pick a bug ticker with a dump killer, unknown country acre, unknown harbor acre, eager dump killer, African countries on Tantinoni, or give it a game dump killer. Ship a cargan again, I think a lot of honors. And you won't believe uh, internet Gilaban and mid sea sales. Unaham, see a game a ship pick a summer letter, paint kernels to the part of ship pick a blue color again. Gahana, I got a spray girl of Congerla, Cumberly Lila, right? Oh, again, the my frauds in me, the way charter party frauds, Pendapulo. Then cargo theft and piracy. As they come and belong. The, the golden rule is if the deal looks too good to be true, too good to be true, it probably can be a fraud. Right? When the when the deal looks like too good to be true, it probably can be a fraud. Okay. Sir Charter, uh, sir, how you can identify the charter party bill from, from the looking at the bill? Is yes, there any yes, way that yes, we can yeah. or, identify yes. whether it's a charter party bill? On top they mention. On top they mention charter party. Normal BL again, okay. Normal BL again, the marine BL, uh, ocean BL, again any right. Ocean BL, Marine BL, Eva uh, Gain, Arake Gahano, Charter Party BL. Okay. That's now, when we specify on, uh, when we specify on LC, oh. uh, the BL should be uh, clean on board uh, bill of landing, then uh, the importer can't or exporter can't submit this Charter Party BL, isn't it? No, no. Then, then it's a discrepancy. Then it's a discrepancy. But if you request in the LC a charter party BL are allowed. Charter party BLs are allowed. Yes, then charter party BLs can be submitted. And when you are negotiating, you should not negotiate. That's what I'm trying to tell. We have to wait till you receive the goods or whatever. Negotiate can Nepal. Or oh, once you once you get the money, you can give it to the your customer. No negotiation. The reason is we are not sure about the goods will go to the other side, the buyer's country. Right? Okay, the charter party the Oh, I got to the name. Have I bulk cargo have a summer charter party? How the Duke Guane, the oil killer, oil shipments, charter party, sugar, charter party, then cement, charter party, bitumen, charter party, 
तार अनित्य वत्त के दान ने बैनी राइट ये वाब स्पेशल नवाक में अरगे ना दान लोनो अभी मेक है ऑन टॉप ऑफ दिस जिसने चार्ट पार्टी ये वायरेटेड द थिंग राइट भीतर ने ओके राइट नाउ डीसी फ्रॉड प्रिवेंशन इंपोर्टर यू हैव चेक द इंटेग्रिटी एंड फाइनेंशियल स्टैंडिंग ऑफ द एक्सपोर्टर ऑफ द मेडिकल मैन और द एजेंट राइट रिमेंबर द डीसी ऑपरेशंस ऑल पार्टीज डील इन डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड नॉट इन गुड्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डीसी ऑपरेशंस राइट देन द गुड्स शुड बी रेडीली सेलेबल द गुड्स शुड बी रेडीली सेलेबल एम नत्तंग अपेटर परिश्रम एंड नॉन दंग थिंग्स लाइक बिटुमन इट इज नॉट रेडी टू सेल अबर राइट चेक मार्केट प्राइसेस नेवर बी टू ग्रीडी चेक मार्केट प्राइसेस नेवर बी टू ग्रीडी इट्स एन अदर गुड स्टोरी आई कैन टेल यू आज टुडे इज अ स्टोरी टेलिंग डे बट व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट द Trade risk. The best thing is to get the idea into your head through stories. Me wage storytelling only in the mind. Ogana thava. Ek panta ma me idea ka ondo na ganda puna. Meka mage experience ka. Meka mage experience ka. Mage meka thank you what the guy financing. ऑप्शंस के नगाता कर रहे थे मतलब मैं किया नहीं ना मैं तो बड़ा बंक किया नहीं हूँ मैं बंक बेरी लावा किया नहीं क्यों थे मैं किया ना सर मैं मैं हमारा मैं कम दे किया नहीं पे किया कुछ धन वाले किया किया ना तो मतलब दे मत के ना तीन होने तो बट हम तो केवल दे मैं एक किया चेक मार्केट प्राइस एंड नेवर � the people who are opening LCs or the officers or supervisors in that particular area. When you're opening LCs, I don't know any, uh, no, not a single person, I'm not sure, will check the market price of the commodity, whatever the commodity. Uh, uh, I am बास गेन में गया ना हाँ सीपरलिन वगैरह एक दानों ने स्पेसिफिकेशन सीपरलिन ट्वेंटी मिली एमएम इनटू टू हंड्रेड एमएम बनाने का दाला स्पेसिफिकेशन दाला कहाँ ना राइट वे एवर चेक जो लेसी दंग इस तरह आपे काले वगैरह में आपे काले उपको आपे चेक करे मैं कमोडिटी प्राइसेस आ रहे हैं ना दंग दंगों ने नहीं इंटरनेट ठगाला का हाला बनाने हैं कि ये तो मेरे मार्केट प्राइस से क्या राइट शुगर सीमेंट ये ने बोला शुगर है माँ फ्रॉड्स बड़ा फ्रॉड्स है ना कमोडिटी आ शुगर बस शुगर तेरे का ब्राउन शुगर ये ना ब्राउन शुगर के ना दंगों ने अभी आप लोगों के बड़ो ना कुछ एक दिन ये वाले बात ये ना दिन ये तो ना आप ये तो ना मैं मैं वा परिसंग में डोने वा नहीं अन्य के प्राइसेस बार नो नो द मार्केट प्राइस से कटवा डाल गुड़ा आप आर्डरिंग अभी गेन हो ना दे समथिंग फिशी व्हेन यू यू शुड बी रेडी टू आस्क द कस्टमर now the market price is this. How come you get this special price? Then he will tell us the reason. My dear friends, uh, majority of the reasons they will tell you is majority of the customers as the reason they will tell you, oh, I got a good deal. It's a bargain. That's the answer. But you have to tell them not to be too greedy. 
it's always something different mm. this also happened when i was in colombo uh, one of my customers he opened a lc with us to get down um, you know these uh, tube lights you get chalks a starter ekak kiyanna api kiyanne tube light ekak podi ekak thiyana starter ekak kiyala ekena gasilla pat wenne ha samar lamai wage apata rute enne ekak gasi gasilama enne de wage thama meka start ekin thamai meka touch ekak dila pat wela yanne ring eva genda mage customer kene avia lc ekak 50 cents per dozen no 50 cents us dollars per dozen unne wage hita ganna bere ekak i use i normally check with the prices bara gana kadi den api athana 3 dollars hitara wene ekak edana 50 cents ganna denne one into 6 hitara ge dena profit ekak asse mama my customer ing ewa mm. are you sure about the price yes 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 it's a very good uh, price i got and uh, goods are coming from hong kong ah huh? kaulun uh mata mata ga me avurudu tiyekata itara kalin vecha dewa uh it was a megulo anta mama ki wa hama yan ko have you done mange wa have you done business with this guy earlier no this is the first time then i suggested him to get an inspection certificate in independent inspection certificate e bara ki wa ayyo wisa kal dera oka ganda giyo thema me डॉक्यूमेंट क्लीन we check the documents documents clean he um, request for a tr facility he had the tr facility also so we mark tr facility and release the documents and did the payment the following day evening he came to me running crying and telling me i am missing all the among අහුණා නේ වාර කිව්ව දේවල් එකක්වත් මම කලේ නැහැ. ඉඳන් මොකද උනේ? He has got the container. Container load එකම ඇවිල්ලා තියෙනවා. බය වෙන්න එපා. Container load එක ඇවිල්ලා තියෙන්නේ. Container එකේ තිබුණේ පිදුරුයි කාඩ්බෝඩ් කැලි පරණ පත්තරයි කැඩිච්ච සෙරෙප්පු සපත්තු වගේ දෙයි. ඒක තමයි container එකේ පුර වල තිබුණේ. වෙන කිසිම දෙයක් නැහැ. right where we have missed the bus new customer greedy he was very greedy with the price market price market price was well below the market price right he wanted to get the ma- maximum profit out of this transaction and i when i suggest him to get a inspection certificate since this customer was a new customer new party he didn't listen to me ante mede me ona mata passe anne pr facility man dirana dene salli terlana dene document wise perfect right so you, you can reject the documents you can reject the document documents are perfect ante mede me ata loss ekak thamai une okkoma ata mata gena insurance ekin gatta de onada kiyala කොමරේ මට දන්න විදිහට අඩු ලස්සක් වුණා 
15,000 dollars. Because of this lenient actions or uh, they have taken and they pity things. Pennywise found foolish killer. When you are when you are talking about a penny, you are very uh, uh, yeah, you are very wise. Penny wise. Hari jana mande. Penny ekan kena beri ekan. But when it comes to pound, sterling pound, you are foolish. How many pennies to a pound? Right? Okay. Ensure that exporter uses reliable shipping lines, conference or regular lines. Right? Ask for inspection certificates from independent parties as specified in UCP. Avoid shipping guarantees. Avoid shipping guarantees. Right? Then DC fraud prevention exporter. Shall we take a 10 minutes break? Sorry. By the time I prepared my cup of tea, 10 minutes have gone. Uh, then DC fraud prevention about the exporter. Uh, import Kalane. Uh, now the exporter, exporter's part, like with the importer, we have to check the integrity and financial standing of the importer or the middleman or the agent, right? With the importer, when we are doing that, we have to check the financial standing of the exporter. Now, as an exporter, you have to check the financial standing of the importer. The banks should carefully scrutinize whether the DC is workable. We check, uh, we discuss about this when we were discussing Article 8, 9, 10. The exporter will be able to comply with the terms and conditions of the DC, ensure no ambiguous terms and conditions. Always check whether the exporter will be able to comply with the terms and conditions of the DC. Actually, as a bank, advising bank, we don't have to go uh, this level, right? To go by word by word, but you have to advise your customer and ask them to check. And if they find any ambiguous things or uh, gray areas, you have to train them to come back to you so that they will always check the gray areas with you. Use reliable forwarding agents. Avoid granting excessive credit period or limit to the buyer. That's a very important thing. Avoid granting excessive credit period or limit to the buyer. What do you mean by that? Now, when we are setting up the uh, sales contract, right? Normally, and ninety percent of our NC transactions, the period is ninety days, the maximum, sixty or ninety, right? But don't allow excessive credit period, like. 180 days, 360 days, then you are asking for trouble because if it's a DA, 180 days DA, we don't know what will happen after 180 days, especially these days, right? Especially these days, we don't know. Uh, ensure sufficient insurance cover against transit risk, right? 
then better to have an agent in buyer's country. Better to have an agent in the buyer's country. Then we'll try to discuss about the risk to the issuing bank. Now we have discussed what are the risks to the importer. We have discussed what are the uh, risks to the exporter. Uh, I, I just went through that because most of the things happening either to importer or exporter, we have discussed earlier various stories. Now we'll see risk to the issuing bank. When we issue a LC, who is going to give the irrevocable undertaking to the beneficiary? Uh, who will give the irrevocable undertaking to the beneficiary that we will pay again? Issuing bank. Issuing bank, not applicant, right? Never. Applicant is not a party to the LC. Only the issuing bank, right? So, because of that, when we are issuing the LC, we have to see insolvency of the applicant. If the applicant is bankrupt, if the applicant is bankrupt, then uh, there's no way you can recover the money from him. But as the issuing bank, you have given an irrevocable undertaking to the beneficiary. So whether the applicant pays or not, you have to settle the bills. There's no second word. So because of that, Insolvency of the applicant is very important. Then fraud, sovereign and regulatory legal risk. Right? issuing bank Frauds can happen. Right? Because of the frauds, issuing banks can suffer. Then sovereign and regulatory risk. Right? Then legal risk. The goods may be damaged or lost in transit. Issuing bank to ensure that the goods are properly insured. Why, why issuing bank to ensure that the goods are properly insured? Why they have to ensure? Come on. I have asked you a question. Why? You don't have it. Guys, yourself. Penny, even at the forecast. Machine Bank undertakes the risk. Machine Bank to pay the, the beneficiary. Paying, paying the beneficiary. Paying the beneficiary. Well, can you rephrase it? Answer is correct. Can you rephrase it? Uh, irrevocable. Uh, yeah. Undertaking. Very good. Very good. Issuing bank has given an irrevocable undertaking to the beneficiary. Irrevocable undertaking to the beneficiary that if the documents are complied with the terms and conditions of the LC, that we will pay. Right? Then gradually we will try to use the correct terms. Then risk to the applicant or the importer. It's I have a question. Yeah. Now, in case of uh, importer, I wanted to get uh, on a CNF basis, uh, then we have to open a CNF uh, LC on a CNF basis. Yes. Uh, in that case, uh, it's not going to be uh, considered. Also, the bank as a issuing bank, uh, we can we can't push exporter to go with the insurance. Can I go back to the? screen the goods may be damaged or lost in transit issuing bank to ensure that the goods are properly insured okay then if it is cnf whose responsibility to take the insurance 
importer importer right importer uh, as a uh, uh, you are from a bank no not not i'm from bank you are not from bank um, if you are from a bank we know we never open lcs under cnf and fob right without the proper adequate insurance cover because once you open the lc it is the responsibility of the issuing bank to pay the beneficiary right so you have to ensure that all the insurance are in place so if it is then your, your question is cnf that means cost and freight insurance cost and freight is whose responsibility import or export import has to take the policy no 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 cost in cnf whose responsibility to look after cost and the freight is it importer or exporter it's up to exporter exporter it export. is it is exporter whose responsibility is to take the insurance importer importer so as the importers bank you are the issuing bank means you are importers bank before you open the lc you in, you make sure that you are having sufficient cover in your hand otherwise you will not open the lc right uh having said that even cif or cnf fob or mona ke aavat please go through the uh, the detailed description of inco terms detailed description of inco terms right uh they are they have mentioned they are mentioned in most of the uh, inco terms or 90% of the inco terms they said insurance is whose responsibility to get the proper insurance whose responsibility buyer or seller buyer yeah. or seller it's depends on negotiation and uh, inco terms now no. we'll say uh, no 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 this is this is what i'm coming into okay if it is cnf whose responsibility buyer 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 if it is cif by seller seller uh, seller what then insurance is seller right seller but that means buyer can wash his hands and to accept any dam insurance this is what is happening in most of the cases 95% of the cases this is what is happening if it says cif the buyer will not go through the insurance policy or whatever right even the terms and conditions they will not go through they just hand it over to the seller to get the insurance cover pay and get the cover right but once you even if it is ci cif once you put the goods on deck once you put the goods on deck the risk will be transferred from seller to buyer from that point it is buyer's risk that includes insurance also right if something happens after the goods have been loaded on deck after the goods have been loaded on deck and uh, subsequently the ship has been pirated and which have been thrown out right so damage of the goods who has to claim buyer or seller cif cif who has to claim buyer buyer not the seller 
seller's responsibility is to get the insurance right but the buyer has to do the claiming lamai godak varada ganna oge oy prashne ahannet me wage mai cnf api danna buyer fob buyer right ida passe dano cif seller den kaata denne den responsibility ke seller ne always the responsibility lies with the buyer because once you loaded the goods on deck from that point the risk transferred from buyer to uh, seller to buyer right ekinda etana ogola varadda ganne epa eka hondara ganne godak questions enawa oba tricky vidiyata ekama case ekak diyala case study ekak goods have been pirated or something a similar ekak diyala ena please explain your answer in terms of fob and cif fob ki waga mang ape lamai liyena is buyer's responsibility cif seller's responsibility to put the claim no right guna guna theke ding eden di before we obtain the insurance you have to see you have to ask the buyer you have to ask the uh, the buyer has to ask the seller buyer has to ask the seller what are and tell them i need these covers piracy i need the cover mukada api danna ship ekak den singapore colombo no need for piracy api enne but china colombo yes up to certain extent indonesian pirates line down right uh, somalian pirates line down any pet thing you should know the route you should know the goods yo koma balagena thamai api kiyanne then we have to tell the counter party these are the covers i need otherwise they can buy the cheapest one like third party insurance insurance category c third party wage e wage me 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 wedak nathi covers ekak thuna kawa inne right em ba apita una eken api insist karanne category a we you want category a all risk covered including piracy right okay arga arga ma kiyawa anda ogolo you can download it ki dinne download karala thiyana ade okanta ki ore download karala bandi kiyala ti age ehada meda maanse lewata faa gan alla ganna pinawa me ogolo mata wada goda konda ne you you guys are also pirates ana oka himisare ehada meda karagola faa ganna pulwa me සම්පූර්ණ එක මම මම අප්ලෝඩ් කරගත්තා ඒ වගේ පුළුවන් ගන්න සවා ගන්න ඒකල ඔක්කොම ටික කියවලා බලන්න the funniest thing is when you read the entire incoterms 2020 just see in most of the incoterms they said insurance is not a responsibility of the seller no the buyer buyer ke patthana ha bhai kiyala import ke patthana is not a responsibility of the importing also kiyala api una product fox ena ekata namuth vela thiyenne actually the buyer has to look after right rest of the applicant by importer non delivery of goods <coughs> <coughs> fraud risk then short shipment shipment of inferior goods right shipping guarantees what do you mean by shipping guarantees when are we using shipping guarantees 
when uh, when there is a delay when there is a delay in uh, receiving uh, original uh, documents uh -huh. so uh shipment ka already available ah na hari kya le kya 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 ne shipment has been received but no original document pa ke vina pute original documents a vina kila du indan ko original documents a va abe shipment de mama ahan de ti du gen de ham de mata mokat de na waru mata mokat de na waru original documents a vina tan de e kisi awar wanne abe shipment ekak avilla hari de dekama anna na ha de kota shipping guarantees and then uh why it is a risk to the applicant important shipping guarantees okay import ke bank ka risk kya upar na risk kya why if any case uh, 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 importer don't submit the original documents to negotiation if there is any delays uh then uh then then there's going to be a problem uh yeah once we issue the shipping guarantee we issue the shipping guarantee on an indemnity given by the uh applicant or the importer the uh, indemnity is for 300% liability 300% liability of the invoice value right so that liability is there so in case if you have not received the original documents then they won't be able to cancel the shipping guarantee and there is no fixed time period for shipping guarantee like a check you can't say 6 years 4 eh? years 5 years 10 years em ganne indefinitely it will be valid but for a is uh, operational aspects gattama api 6 years 7 years kila api bank satule internally hadagena you know with a puchara kala thiyan inda de abai ekama de thiyenne you have to do regular follow ups right puchara kal 6 years ara gang shipping guarantee in original document na ekya ni thing there some problem right they get the era bilane minisu kiyenawa මේක උනොත් මොකද වෙන්නේ කියලා නමුත් එහෙම අදකත් වෙලා නැහැ. ඉතින් මටත් ඔය when i was doing the reengineering of trade finance at hsbc uh, a lot of people this is what they are telling me why you are not cancelling this no in case if there is a claim in case that's the word they are using in case okay how many times you have received the claim like that uh, not exactly uh, either i think uh, once or two a name again adra again once or two when 10 years back 15 years back no i have not worked in the department at that time but we heard we are get vague answers then it will be over hari to work අරගෙන බලන්න ඕන මොකද රිස්ක් එක කියලා ඒ රිස්ක් එක බලලා we can mitigate the risk right otherwise you are going to hold it for years and years සාමාන්‍යයෙන් 6 years තමයි මේගොල්ලෝ කියන්නේ ඒක බැංක් ටු බැංක් ඩිෆරන්ට් ඒක ඉතින් මට කියන්න බෑ 6 years කියලා but බැංක් ටු බැංක් ඩිෆරන්ට් foreign exchange is a risk to the applicant then failure of the issuing If the issuing bank go bankrupt, everything will go for six. Risk mitigation of importer. Deal with sellers with sound reputation and track record. You know, expense can no nanny. Request for performance guarantee to avoid non-performances. <coughs> then 
सेकंड एक नंबर होता है फॉर विच टाइप ऑफ पेमेंट विच टाइप ऑफ पेमेंट देर आर फोर पेमेंट मेथड से सेकंड एक होता है मुकद्दर है Request for performance guarantee to avoid non-performance risk. The exporter has failed to ship the goods. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Is good for open account. Advance payment. Open advance account payment. and advance payment both. Right? Right. Agree on more secured payment methods. For example, DC and open account. Uh, buy and sell in the same currency to minimize forex risk. Very true. If you buy and sell in the same currency, you can minimize the forex risk. Again, buy and sell again. Same currency in the sense, if it is a local currency, LKR nang LC LKR. Payment take around the day, care none, no issue, no forex risk, right? When it comes to a cross currency, then there's always a risk. Forward contracts, forward contracts, may also forward contracts, they are the banks only, and then that's in the honey. They know that. नहीं ना नहीं ना हाँ नहीं बताइए क्या ना को ए बैंकों में का देखिए ना मामला ना दाने भी दिया था पावर कंट्रैक्ट सारे पिक एंड चूज दिन ने में दो मार कस्टमर के नेट आरेंड है यार वाली इनको तो में अत्तर में Bad period. We don't know. Some of the reasons are beyond our control. Up to this day, under the river, ensure sufficient insurance cover against transit risk. Risk to the exporter: failure to comply with the credit conditions, failure or failure of uh, or delays in payment from the issuing bank, bank and countries, and legal risk. Right? May I go beyond that? Expense can not own that. Risk to the advising bank. What are the risks to the advising bank? Negligence in verifying apparent authenticity. Negligence in verifying apparent authenticity. What do you mean by that? Negligence in verifying apparent authenticity. Is it a is it a must that advising bank should verify the authenticity of the LC? Yes. Yes, it is a must, right? If they have not done that, that's a negligence, right? Then who is responsible? Advising bank, right? Okay. Risk to the nominated confirming reimbursement bank. Inability to obtain reimbursement from the issuing bank once negotiated. Then, Documentation risk. Documentation risk. Right? 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 
each party, maybe. By the Nakali Ugrakal, let the Gila, but the big Hemekama import transaction nega, export transaction nega, whatever the parties which can be a party, we have discussed the risk involved. Right. Now we are going to discuss another very important thing measures to be followed by RMs to prevent double financing and accommodation financing. As prudent bankers, we should know what is double financing and what is accommodation financing. And not only that, the trade as trade guys, what a lot of our people. Their thinking pattern is there are RMs to look after those things. It is not my job. My job is to open the LC, check the documents, pay the money, finish. Don't think like that. Right? You should try to understand everything and then to master the things. Right, then only you can be an all rounder. Right. When it comes to promotions and all those things, uh, at the interviews, they will ask you. They will not ask questions only pertaining to international trade. They will ask questions pertaining to credit, current accounts, savings, deposits, everything. Entire banking. Right? Measures to be followed by RMs. RMs means relationship managers to prevent double financing and accommodation finance. Now, this is something which I want to stress to you. As the trade finance managers, trade services managers, and as the RMs from credit department, you should work together, hand in hand, right? Then only you can understand the customer's business requirement. Very clear, right? You should work hand in hand. That time when you go trade and credit, gori, ogulangi the hema the, and the magenang gori arang ogulang ko Him let the letter Sunny Petty not the old name only. Maggie note take a game on the ratty. Right. Yeah, now I wouldn't leave the guy get by. Then at the Mago Tamadamo Gori. I think a kinder a peer co maker gun on and another good thing if. Are there any RMs in my team? Any RMs? What I would like to suggest is whenever you visit customers, you should take one of the trade guys. Because trade guy understand the business better than the RM. But trade guy doesn't have the powers to take the decision. The decision can be taken by the RM, but the questions and clarifications, a trade guy can do a major role. Right? Trade finance period should match with the trade cycle of the customer. It's a very, very important thing. This is where a lot of people are making the mistake. Right. Trade finance period should match with the trade cycle of the customer. So, for example, if I take the trade cycle of a 
customer, right? This customer is ABC and company. Your, your customer is ABC and company. That is your customer, right? He is a guy who is uh, importing the raw materials and do a manufacturing and then sell it. Then sell it. Right? So normally he, he wants to import raw materials. import raw materials from China it will take from the time you order the goods by the time you receive the goods it will always about one month one month period we need to order the goods and then to receive the goods so after one month from the day you order the goods, after one month, you will receive the goods and the documents both. Then you will take another two months to do the manufacturing. Manufacturing. If if we say this guy is a, uh, what do you call this? Uh, garment industry so he input the raw materials right then buttons and everything and then take another two months of manufacturing after that he exports exports to uk he exports to uk the UK guy will give the money after 30 days. Payment will be, they will receive the payment after 30 days. So now this is the uh, 30 days killing up because one month ago. Now, what is the trade cycle of this customer? What is the trade cycle of this customer? What is the trade cycle of this customer? Come on. Four months. Four months. So, which one may be carried out today? Can it be done? Right. It takes one month to import the goods. Then it will take another two months to prepare the end product, and then to export it and to receive the money after one month. Right. Four months, sir. Now, then, if you go to Api, the customer to Api, then what? Then facilitate that. May import facility can then it will take only one month. One month, yeah, and up import facility and then know the day 90 days. You see, 90 days, you see, facility are good. One month is more than enough, right? To open the LC and to do the thing. Then, and medical export part of us, I one month, it is no better. If trade cycle about the mummy without the current name, I'm going to do it again with you. We are doing the financing part of import documents. Okay. Then uh, carefully monitor requests for dra drastic increases. Carefully monitor requests for drastic increases within a short period of time. 
ਨੇ ਸਰਸਿਤੀਆ ਕੀ ਲੋ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਦਾ ਸੱਟਾਂ ਕਰ ਸੁਭਾਨ ਦੇ ਕਾ ਕਿਨੋੜ ਕੀ ਨਾ ਬਸ ਮੜਤਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਮਦੀ ਨੇ ਸਾਟਿਆ ਕੋਣ ਨੇ ਬਸ ਸਾਟਿਆ ਕੋਣ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਡਰਾਸਟਿਕ ਇਨਕ੍ਰੀਸਸ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਅ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਪੀਰੀਅਡ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਫਿਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਟ ਲੀਸਟ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਡਨ ਦੇਅਰ ਜੌਬ ਐਂਡ ਈਵਨ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਡਨ ਯਰ ਜੌਬ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਪੋਰਟ ਡਾਕੂਮੈਂਟਸ ਇਸ਼ੂਡ ਬਾਈ ਨੋਨ ਪਾਰਟੀਸ always try to ask for good transport documents the unknown transport agents are going to end up adapt a common sense approach to ensure that they are financing viable commercial transaction the last one is a very important thing right underline kala diya gata kamanne if you have a common sense approach all this issues problems will be solved right common sense approach mangwana gat feeling ekak ona gina e wage thamai apita bala dak balu balmata case ekak nehema kiyala thiyenna na apita ichcha na right then what do you mean by accommodation finance where there is no underlying transaction to which the trade document prepared to relate ar bang den kiwe accommodation finance ekak thamai ara 3 million dollar fraud dege no underlying transaction right only the documents were there no goods involved nothing right the most common frauds involved non existent cargoes of sugar oil fertilizer etc then they run it we go risky high risk eva api high risk eva samanyen karanne na sugar hema hari parsan wenna sugar imports karana kota warning signals of accommodation finance warning signals of accommodation finance customer dealing in goods outside its normal course of business check kala balanna ona api samanya dana ganna ona customer energy kyc dana ganna ona customer wedak e and me monada me age goods right for example uh, if my customer is uh, ईएच करे ईएच करे व्हाट आर दे डूइंग व्हाट आर दे आर बिजनेस गुड फर्नीचर ईएच करे फर्नीचर या वन ऑफ द लीडिंग फर्नीचर गाइस एंड ईएच करे वन ऑफ द मेन इंपोर्ट्स मैनेजर फ्रॉम ईएच करे कम्स टू यू कम्स टू अ बैन with the uh, what do you call this uh, lc application to import maybe you should reclaim ganna pa ma ma the classic one no you know ma man kiye perila man kiye wenne nan gatte ali easy ta lc ta gulla mata gite inna he comes with an application to import b onions and potatoes which they never do right eto kota kelimma api dana ganna ona customer is going to deal with goods outside its normal course of business right you should have the backbone to ask the customer why always ask always ask sometimes most of the time the customers eglange thiyena me general merchants kala ganagana thiyenne general merchants are anything under the sun and moon emane kiyanne right and the general merchant anything can happen why why you asking me no i am asking because of, i want to safeguard the customer right kiyanne banner mage ara stand side mage aluwa hitawata ge eh lc ka ge 
ऑलिंगल uh bc is issued to same group or related to the customer right simple or no shipping documents drafts are always round figures description of goods very limited then bandar me the bitumen case again just bitumen draft are always round figures 3 million right फिक्टीशियस and other story i can tell you just to not exactly the thing but uh, I'll, i'll tell you uh, another story the best example for a fictitious name once i had a customer imports customer his company name Yes, madhouse, madhouse. Pistol ke thora hoye, right? Madhouse ke la. Ulo, have you ever seen any similar names? Amuthu ever? The madhouse ke la dekha mat, mamat mudhe the belu aao. Aao aao me kapal lekha tha mai kele. That's like madhouse, right? Anti mana apni thoda hai. उटेशन no sales are doing any trade or trade eh na something wrong somewhere they won't get the money right adu vada trade with lesser developed countries trade with lesser developed countries like nigeria uh, kenya i okay lesser developed countries lesser to right ega ega issue ka Uh, warning signals then comes a double financing double financing can be a company obtaining trade finance from two or more banks for the same trade transaction two or more banks from for the same trade transaction right make a lazy my example like in can double financing ek eto kota uganda uganda to lota kotena the importer opens side dc through bank a for the import of raw materials right the importer opens a side dc through bank a bank a will open side dc right to import raw materials <laughs> after that uh now they have opened the lc and now they have received the documents 
Once they receive the documents, documents are clean. Then under the LC, they will pay. They will pay. How they are paying? By taking 120 days PR. Pay okay, by 120 days PR. Transition facility. Okay? The daughter may have a site name. Tangal immediately gave Pegala. We have granted them 120 days PR. And they have to settle my TR loan after four months. After four months. Then I will manufacture the goods. Right? I am going to make the raw We manufacture. We, we manufacture the final uh, product. Right? After that, we manufacture the final product. After 30 days, so we have given the facility for 120 days TR. After 30 days, it takes only 30 days to convert it to the final product. Right? After 30 days, they will export this uh, finished product right and present a da bill to bank b they will export it under da under da but this particular da means under collection the method transaction <laughs> Make a bank be a bank be Manufacturer goods. Thirty days linker, DA. Thirty days DA. DA, thirty days. After two months, after two months, two months, then B will receive the funds. After two months, then B will receive the funds. 30 days and now, we are going to ship the line. Now, 30 days in Sali Hambino and Megano. What's going to happen to this? Are they going to settle the transaction? No. They will roll over with something else. With the method of two weeks, two months, seen on again. One hundred and twenty days can a four months. Tower two, tower two months, dear, other than make on. Then this guy's wife will tell him, and a darling, uh, we have another two months. Now. Give me that money. I'll go to India and bring some masaris. We'll sell it, and then we can earn some more profit. At the end, I'm a the mother no nanny. Wife's <laughs> Sariti, 
आवा सारे जो है सारे सी या किसी पर ना किना आवा इतने दाहो ना कस्टम से लोटा राइट कॉन्फिस्टिकेट करना दस अत्यंत पद में दर में की गिवन घूम रहे आरामांश चढ़ गिवन ने दिना साली ठीक है नहीं क्या नहीं तो ये वाके रोल इन्दु पड़ा हूँ एक कम मैं 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 फाइनेंस के लिए मुखाते बैंक बी फाइनेंस के लिए थी मैं बैंक ए के नल्ला ऑन ट्रस्ट दीपु रॉ मटेरियल ऑन ट्रस्ट दीपु रॉ मटेरियल समय मैं फाइनेंस कर दी मैं एक कम मैं प्रोडक्ट देगा बैंक्स देगा फाइनेंस देगा Is it clear for you? But a clear do gan dai. Teru netang kian mangga ko explain kala ian nang. Teru ni netang te teru ni netang potong lagi kira. Betul kan? Kan clear de? First part lagi. Pay by hundred and twenty days tiar. Abi hundred and twenty days tiar tu mana? Then medical. Thirty days ring. Baru hari mana? Baru tiga bulan mana? Bulan mana? Salah tiga na dua malam sulit. Enak betul. Itu dua malam sulit. Abi roll kerma ni. So that is why double financing. You have to be very very careful when you are having these type of things. That is why I am always telling trade finance managers has to work hand in hand with the RMs. They have to work hand in hand with the RMs very closely, right? Then you can monitor the abuse of pre-shipment finance. Here we have given pre-shipment finance. You can book the bill. You can have a track record. 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 You can have a good stand. You can have a good stand. You can have a raw material. You can have a final product. Ini mana? Ini betul. After thirty days, minyak cikar la, yang mana tu mana? Ini kan, they have to settle the bills. Right? They can't just go on without settling the bills. Okay. Suggested measures highly recommended. Understand in detail the company's trade cycle. Company ke trade cycle ni understand kan tu. Ni ke, ni tu ko cuma understand kan lah. अब वो इन्होंने अपितु मगर दे फिर नहीं लेगा। Should not grant facilities for more than required period. Monitor early warning signals for corrective actions. Visit the customer's factory to understand and establish its operation. In the maker, अब वो इन्होंने अपित मेरे विजिट कराना नित्रम। मेरे विजिट कराना ना नित्र अब वो इन्होंने को में वाड़ी टेके आगे स्ट्रक्चर तो बहुत दुनिया है आ मैन्युफैक्चर कर ला वो देंगे ये बात आ ये बात तो हमारे एक्सपोर्ट कर ला अब आज दिन निकाल ली तो ये तो अन्ना तो ये अरे हीरे नो तो मासिक ही नो नहीं कहाँ की देख ले बाहर मटर की नाम नहीं है एक्सपोर्ट नहीं ले आ नए मंग संपर्क देंगे रिज़ लेना KYC एंड KYC से ऑफ़ योर कस्टमर। ऑल रिक्वेस्ट टू एक्सटेंड द रीपेमेंट डेट ऑफ़ ट्रेड लोन्स शुड बी थरली इन्वेस्टिगेट। दिस मे बी द फर्स्ट साइन ऑफ़ कैश फ्लो प्रॉब्लम। रेगुलरली रिव्यू आवर सिक्योरिटी थ्रू इन्वेस्टिगेट। सॉरी थरली इन्वेस्टिगेट न्यू कस्टमर्स व आस्किंग फॉर फैसिलिट Right? Okay. I think we have covered all those things. Right? Now, any questions? I'm ready to answer. Today, what we have done is we have, uh, now we have got the basic idea about international trade 
all four payment methods api wera kala ita passe den input term sarama wenat katha kala den bana hama ekama input term ekak unak api katha kala eka antime da apita aawa nasinda katha karana wata me input term ut apita gavila aawa input term ut apita gavila aawa me ඒකෙත් අපිට එක කොනක් තිබුණා. හයි. මේ වගේ රිස්ක් කියන එක හැමතිස්සෙම බලන්න ඕන. අ ඉන් ට්‍රේඩ් ඔල්වේස් ට්‍රයි ටු මිටිගේට් ද රිස්ක්. ඔල්වේස් ට්‍රයි ටු මිටිගේට් ද රිස්ක් ඇන්ඩ් දෙන් අ යෝ කැන් කවර් යෝ එක්ස්පෝෂර්ස්. රයිට්. ඔකේ. Don't think that you can eliminate the risk, but if you keep your eyes open, you can do it. Right? Now what you have to do is there may be clerical staff, there may be officers, there may be managers in this group. Right? Everybody has to open their eyes and do their job. Then only you can identify. And if you identify certain irregular things, always go back and. Question, right? Okay. Then I'll call it a day. We are the taffy. Next week, I'll be the session there. Come on, right? Then after the election, we'll see how the things are moving. The banks open, of course, companies. But I got normal with the other normal as well. I know, no, uh, because I'm postponing certain areas. August to the end, gang. August until the end, gang. May class again, my little matric to the end. Ne, Oglanta Pudwan ne, I will. මේ කොළොත් මෙතෙන් දෙන්න ඇවිල්ලා අපි මීටරේ පරතරේ ඉඳන් හරි අපි ගණන් ටික ආරම්භය කරමු රයිට් වෙන සිස්ටම් එක කරන එක නැහැ ඉතින් මම වර්චුවල් ක්ලාසස් ආ නොට් වෙරි එෆෙක්ටිව් අපි බලමු පුළුවන් තරම් අපි කරන්න රයිට් ඊට පස්සේ ඩොක් චෙක් ඉන් පාට් එකක් කරලාට පස්සේ දැන් දැන් අගේන් වී කැන් ඩූ සම් වර්චුවල් ක්ලාසස් රයිට් ඔකේ Okay then good night